Right, I'm at Gooseberry Mesa and I'm at the White Trailhead and I'm going to do the uh, Gooseberry Mesa long route on MTB Project and I'm probably off course already. Let's go this way. <laughs> in this video, I'm in Utah. Utah is blessed with world-class trails and I head to the southwest corner to Hurricane to ride on the world-renowned Gooseberry Mesa. There are a number of trails on the Mesa. There are also camping spots along the road to the trailhead. One thing to note is that the road to the trailhead is a dirt road and it is advised not to try it when it is wet. I head out from the white trailhead and take South Rim Trail. From there, I head up to Gooseberry Point and then turn around and begin the return on White Trail. I venture to the North Rim Trail before finishing up with practice for the final leg back to the trailhead. Let's see what these world-class trails are like. So the first thing is finding your way out the parking lot. Over the stile and turn left. And immediately we're into Slick Rock and we see the white dots. We follow the white dots. Not that much elevation gain with this one. This is about playing on the Slick Rock and the technicality of it. It's a beautiful morning. Woo. So there's like little rocky drops just to get you going. Now Gooseberry Mesa is obviously a world-class trail system. It is a go-to destination. It's up there with like Moab in terms of places to ride. Oh, <laughs> not ready for that one. Try again. Yep, gearing is everything. Certainly gets your heart going straight out the gate. So not much elevation gain, but had to be ready for the power moves. Tricky. Oh, this one's a pedal cruncher. Now where? <laughs> oh, the white dots go this way. Oh, and this way. Okay. Where do we go? Oh, I see. The white drops give the rideable line. And then, as you know this, there are plenty of alt lines where you can Drop off to the side. I wonder how many times I have to come out here to touch out these paint drops. <laughs> Without them, you would not know where you're going. Yes, today is so much different. Yesterday, I rode the uh, Hurricane Rim Trail and that was windy as anything, making it very hard. Today, it is just perfect. Man, this will be so fun for the locals once you know all the lines and you can just do this without trying to figure out where you're going. Where am I going? The scenery here is absolutely stunning. Oh, this way. Oh, where's this going? <laughs> Around the cactus. Up and around. Well, that's tight. Interesting lines. 
This trail is not about speed at all. It's about play and finding your way and riding the features. What did I do? I think I hit that rock. It threw me off. I should probably change my channel to the mediocre biker. But yeah, that's what he taken. Now, as I said, this is actually rated black diamond because of the technical features of it. But I would say that if you stick with the white line, it's actually not that bad. An intermediate could do this, I think. At least this part, it's all about understanding how to power over some of the features. Everything I've seen so far is rideable if you stick to the white line and you take your time and you're careful. That was interesting. Now I did put a foot down on that one. Now, seems the white line goes this way. And around up here. See, that was quite doable. Whoop. Okay. Down and around. Oop. Foot down there. That's because I wasn't quite sure where to go. Yes, but no. Oop. You need some momentum for this one. Yep, this one's doable. Yep, nice. What a beautiful day. And down, good. Yep. Nice. Whew. There's a bullseye. I feel like this is probably going to be my slowest ride ever, but that's okay. Come on, you can do this. Yep, I'm up. Awesome. That one was helped by Axis. <laughs> I saw the incline and just hit the bottom, the button at the bottom, and I just dumped my entire cassette. Yeah. <clears throat> South Rim Trail. There we go. So continue on. South Rim. Still got white dots to follow. Woohoo! Off we go. This way. Photo shot. This is only my second real ride on the YT Izzo outside of my local trails at home and uh, it's actually doing pretty well considering this is really geared up more for aggressive cross country you can get used to the bike now where am I going? this way oh over here where to now? down there and up Nowhere. Oh, some of this helps if you know where, where to go. Oh. 
up. Don't you just want to like rip down there? <laughs> oh, this way. If this is your first time here, like mine, I think it could really pay to follow somebody who knows where they're going. <laughs> okay. Nice. Hidden Canyon, South Rim. South Rim says extreme. This is extreme difficult. So, what am I getting myself in for? I think this is rated more for exposure, but we'll see. It says this way. Why does it say this way? Oh. <laughs> the lines, that's not an arrow pointing this way. That is to show it turns that way. Learn to read the trail. <sighs> Wait. On this bike, it came with the SRAM Axis wireless dropper. I'm pretty much loving this. It's so quick to move. Makes lifting and raising the saddle on a trail like this really quite straightforward. Yay. This is just why it's rated extremely difficult. Just because people have died falling off here before. I know one for heights. I'm not going very close to that. So this next section, I'll just be very careful. And if anything looks dodgy, I'm just going to get off and walk it. Not worth the risk. <laughs> no, couldn't do it. <sighs> that is something I do not have the legs for. <laughs> oh, to be 20 years younger. <sighs> With the bikes and technology of today. Oh, this is sweet. Hello drop, that's a big drop. This is only getting a bit close to the edge for my liking. Don't want to tumble there, but that was short. Now we'll move away. Now I'm getting used to technical trails with my axis shifting. It's nice. It's so very nice. Makes shifting a terrain like this very simple. This is a trail I'm wearing wearing my knee and elbow pads for. I got my full face on as well, but my full face is mainly so I can do my chin mounted camera. This is very rocky and abrasive. So if you were to fall off, come off here, it could do a pretty fair bit of damage. Um, don't know how to get up here. <laughs> a lot of brute force and ignorance. Sometimes you just walk. No shame in that. You 30 year olds won't understand, but once you hit 50, <laughs> Something's just become a lot harder. Now where? Oh, nothing here is particularly undoable. If you hit the line right. Well, honestly, you could probably just go boom, boom, boom. Up this way. I'm going to give that a try. Nope. <laughs> I did get out of the first one though. We're actually approaching the top of the ride. You can ride this in both directions. Ah, back near the edge again. The views along here are just spectacular. Ah, 
Oh yeah, uh, just drop off that ledge right next to the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. I don't know how to keep on my bike at a 45 degree angle. Ah, oh, I can't even walk up this. People enjoying the views. That's what this is about. That's a long way down there. <laughs> Coming hot coming down here. <laughs> Let's have a parachute. I'm being hyper cautious here <laughs> and uh, not sure exactly where I was going I didn't see the dots for a moment and uh, I'm only about 10 feet from the rim edge and of course this is not so one where you want to go the wrong way now six feet from the rim edge That's better. I'll let you go ahead. You seem to know where you're going. I think I do. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Thank you. One of the white dots. This is a lot easier when you're following somebody. Morning. Good. That was fun. Hard, but fun. Some of these dots are very faint. <laughs> there we go. We're getting there. Am I going the right way? Yes, here's the dots. Trust the dots. They give you the easiest line up. Nowhere. I guess up there. Yeah, I'm not going to make this one. I'll give a round of applause to whoever makes it. <laughs> wow. That's something, isn't it? Yes, this is end of the line. <sighs> wow. A 
It does not look very safe. <laughs> so I'm going to step on it. Have a good ride. Thank you guys. <laughs> now we're here back. Now this is an interesting one, because usually <laughs> that's what we walked up earlier. <laughs> when descending I, crops like that, you have a natural tendency to want to only pull your back brake. But actually, you need to control your speed using your front brake. Your front brake is what's got the traction there. Otherwise, you're just going to slide and be out of control. Yep, I can do it. Coming back down, there's a few alternate lines here. <laughs> so if you can get up going up, you can drop coming down. At first, finding your way off the top there was a little tricky. Um, there's a signpost that made it look that was the way the trail went, but it doesn't. It's just an alternate way to the top where I was. What we need to do is take this ATV uh, road for a little bit to uh, drop down. So first you think, oh, no, this should all be single track, but no, it's not. <laughs> You do actually want to take the ATV track on the way down. North Rim. I guess that's the next trail. So now on the North Rim Trail. Ah, oh, back to White Dots. Sweet. Made it, did not put a foot down. Ooh, good views. Yeah, I love it. Technical riding beside a cliff edge. Woo! Great fun. Oh, oh be careful. <laughs> yeah. Not the place to fall off the edge. Not talking much here. I'm trying to focus on the uh, terrain. Make sure you don't go off any of this. That is a long way down. <laughs> so the north wind, the north rim is full of technical delights. And the nice thing is that the general trend is downwards though there's still plenty of places where you need to do some power moves to get up and over uh, features in the trail <laughs> that was close to the edge okay my wife will be happier we're moving away from the edge for the time being she told me she can't watch these videos. Freaks her out too much. Huh. 
<laughs> I have to look at the trail. Try and look at the edge. I'm not going to be able to make that. If anybody has any tips for how a 50 year old can try to keep their legs in shape, keep some power in them so they can clear obstacles like that, please let me know in the comments below. Yeah, made it. Oh, awesome. Can make it up here? Yep, made it. Woo. I felt I should be talking to you. Nobody wants to watch a boring old video with no chatter. <laughs> but I don't feel that there's anything more to say. The whole system is very similar with these rocky moves, some sand, cliff edges. It really is quite fun. <sighs> tiring but fun sometimes finding your way around can be a little tricky I'd love to be able to spend some time here and ride this multiple times learn the lines learn where you're going Right, so we turned right on the trail called Practice. Nice. I want to attack this so hard. <laughs> But my legs are going like, no, no! This is going to be pretty fun. Oh, my little lizard. On the ground. Two ways to go. Which way? <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. There's two ways. They both join up. So I'm going to take the left side. Yeah. Ah. Woo! Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Just let it go. Yeah, made it up. So practice is just a huge playground. Yep, up and over. I thought my wheel was going to drop off there. But you tend to forget the grip on the slick rock. Right, and that was the end of practice. Back onto White Trail. So we turn left onto White Trail and basically this back to the parking lot. <laughs> Speed on sand. And I see my van. So I survived uh, Gooseberry Mesa. 
that was a really fun trail definitely deserves its world-class status i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff and i will see you on another trail